everyone. Um, today I'm going to be doing my update on my pregnancy vlog. I know I've been running behind. Um, been extremely busy lately. Um, since I've got my driver's license, I've had him since March. I've pretty much been taxi cab. Um, so it's run here and run there for everybody. But um, going to um, tell you a little bit about what's been going on, um, some new symptoms. Um, today I'm actually exactly 20 weeks along in my pregnancy. Um, let's see, I have went to WIC yesterday. They told me that I lost 25 pounds and I'm only 141 pounds. Um, so if their scale is correct with Dr. McCoy's then I have technically gained one pound in one month. So I'm only gaining a pound a month which Wick is kind of complaining about. So um, I, I don't really care about Wick anyways. As long as the doctor's not concerned I'm not really worried. Uh, let's see. Um, new symptoms. I have been getting very lightheaded, very dizzy. Um, I've had double vision, um, just nauseous, and light hurts my eyes. As you can tell, I'm squinting a lot. I look like I'm very tired of the dark circles underneath my eyes. I don't sleep very well. I'm up all the time. Um, suffer from migraines quite a lot. Uh, let's see what else. Um, I haven't been feeling the baby move, which is kind of unusual. Um, last time I was at the doctor's on the 28th of July, they told, um, Dr. McCoy had put, um, the, the baby Doppler is what I call it, to hear the baby's heartbeat on my stomach, and he just lightly pushed it against, um, pushed it against my stomach, and when he did, and the baby was kicking, you could hear the baby kicking on the monitor, because it was like, doot, 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 and then, like, it would stop, and then, the baby like roll over and then you'd hear doot 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 again and it would stop and he kept asking me you don't feel that I don't feel anything I don't feel the baby move I don't feel the baby kick um, and actually I'm pretty big for 20 weeks and I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that I'm losing lots of weight like my face is like slimming down a lot I don't know if you guys can tell from other videos um, a lot of my stuff is not fitting anymore, like the shorts that used to be tight are now loose, um, I'm not eating as much stuff, um, a new craving that just happened was, um, pumpkin pie. I all of a sudden had a craving for pumpkin pie and Cool Whip. I do not eat pumpkin pie. I absolutely cannot stand it. And, um... For some reason, I just, I got a craving for pumpkin pie. I'm sitting there eating it thinking, oh god, this is disgusting, but this is also good at the same time. And I bought like a little pie, it was maybe about this big around. I bought a pie that big, and I sat there and ate four pieces of it, and I don't like pumpkin pie. Very unusual for me, I don't eat it. I like, I'm the apple person. Apple pie with Cool Whip and ice cream is my thing. I had to have pumpkin pie and I don't like it. Um, let's see. Another symptom. I'm breaking out very badly. I don't know if you can see this like here. All around here is very bad breaking. There's some here and here. I don't think there's really any on my forehead. It's mainly around my mouth. They keep breaking out. Um, let's see here. What else is new? Um, pretty much just, you know, I'm tired constantly, and that could be because I'm pregnant and I have two small boys. I just had uh, a birthday party for my youngest. He just turned one on July 30th. Party went awesome. Couldn't have asked for a better party. Um, we had no leftovers, which was really good because I like putting food away. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of like after I've cleaned for two days before the party, I made all the food myself, um, except for the grilling of course because I don't like to touch the grill. But um, after I clean and I cook, after the party I just want to sit down and relax and be thankful that it's over. 
Um, let's see what else. Um, been experiencing a lot of heartburn, and that's unusual because I don't really eat anything. So how can you have heartburn if you don't eat nothing? So uh, we, we still were looking at a lot of the gender predictions things that were going around and a lot of them are still true um, we, we still do the ring test every once in a while and it does the back and forth stop back and forth stop a circle stop so it's still pointing towards a girl I go back August 25th to um, see if that's actually true or what it is um, I go back to see him I think it's like 1.30, 1.15 I go back, and that's a checkup, and then he'll schedule me for a sonogram, so hopefully before October I shall know the sex gender of the baby, because um, they have a nice little mummy market that's going to be in Indiana, PA, um, for anybody who's, um, how should I say this, like, has children. You can go to this mummy market and buy stuff that's pretty cheap for children. Um, so we're we're still hoping on a girl. And I just went yard sale shopping yesterday, and oh my gosh, I think it's a sign because when I was pregnant with Leland, and I kept thinking Leland was a girl, they had nothing but little boy stuff. About every yard sale I went to yesterday had nothing but little girl stuff. So I'm really crossing my fingers and hoping for a girl. Um, if it's a girl, I am done. Um, and like I said, I showed you guys the ring prediction thing, and it it goes right along with what I was saying. If this last one is a girl, I'm done. And it does. It swings in circles like this, and then it completely stops and does not move. Um, you can look up my gender ring prediction test as well. Um, I think what I'll do next is just like a belly shot and just show you guys how humongously huge I am and then um, you guys can put like comments and questions down below and I'll be more than happy to answer any that you guys have so um, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to stand up I'm going to show you a quick picture of my stomach with my shirt uh, both sides in front and then I'll lift up my shirt and do both sides in front and then I will end my video until I get an update from the doctor. Um, but another thing while I'm thinking of it um, that has been bothering me is my my breast and my nipples have been extremely sensitive to everything. Anything brushes across them, they hurt so bad. And that's never happened in either one of the pregnancies. So that's uh, something else too. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to stand up, show you my belly, and um, with without the shirt, and then I will end my video. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Okay. So this is my belly, like this. This is the front view. another side okay and this is the side view Let's show you here and as you can see my shorts are extremely big they won't even stay up side view and this is all belly and there you go but that is my belly and now um, if you guys have any questions comments um, you know just leave them down below and I will be more than happy to answer them for you okay until next time guys I'll see you later bye bye